Hey everyone, it's Joel and Sebastian back with you, EV Geek Studios. And today, as you can see, we are at a Walmart charging station here in where, Sebastian? Bedford, Texas. Bedford, Texas. Everything's bigger in Texas. As you can see, there's a Walmart behind us. Now, this is not an EA station. This is a Walmart-owned EV charging station. So tell us a little bit about this unit before we kind of get into the, the, tech, the technical stuff about it. Yeah, so Walmart currently is rolling this out pretty rapidly through the US. Also, I apologize, I'm losing my voice. Um, so I have to use my DJ voice apparently, and if it goes away in the middle of this, Joel, you have to take over. Anyway, they're starting to roll this out pretty rapidly nationwide. And at this site, they're using the Alpitronic HIC 400 units. So these are capable of 400 kilowatts. You can see you have CCS and NACs at this location. Um, they're split CCS NACs on each one. And you can see you have, um, so this is a conversation I've seen. Some people think these are backwards. I kind of don't because they could put the NACs and CCS on this side. And I guess that would be, that would still not, you know what I mean? It's like test the ports on this side, like my port. Sorry, motorcycle. Uh, my port's on this side. So I guess we'll have to cross streams, I guess. Yep. But I don't know, you tell me, do you think they should be flipped around? Do you think there should be like a NACs dedicated unit? I don't think, do you it think really it, matters. Does it matter yeah. at all? Yeah. Um, eventually, I'm sure these are going to be eventually, once more cars have NACs, that you can come switch out the cables, put another NACs cable in if you need to. So Yeah, yeah but it's super interesting, super neat. I'm excited to see how fast they're rolling this out. Um, between them and like IANA, it kind of seems like we're entering this golden age of EV yep. charging. And I think at this point, it's a good time. We should break here. And then we'll get over here. We can show off what you can do on the screen of the Alpitronics. We'll show off how to start it, um, et cetera. And then go from there. All right, stay tuned. All right, we have made our way over to the unit. So first thing, it kind of tells you up here in directions on what you need to do. So it looks like you do need the Walmart app, correct? Yeah, so that's been a kind of a point of contention. There's no credit card readers on these. I think that's wrong. Like, let me activate through the Walmart app, but I also feel like, I mean, this is, you don't, you know, it's like a gas pump, right? Yep. You should be able to just walk up and pay for it. You shouldn't have to have an app and then an account with the app and all this just to charge your car. And from what I remember, it's not really easy to find in a Walmart app. It's kind yeah, of- Yeah, well, we'll get there. It okay. depends. Okay. Um, but let's look at the screen here. You can see this stations, they've got the new branding applied to it. You can see plug in to get started. This one's doing a time-based charging. So if you charge between 11 p.m. and 8 a.m., it's 25 cents. That's not bad. This is 46 cents, which is still honestly not that bad. Yep. And you can come down here, you can hit like instructions. It'll tell you, scan the pack, Walmart, um, whatever. You have a customer support icon there as well. Forgive these on touch screen. Um, so there's we call, come back home, and come here to connectors. So if someone's charging, you can hit there. You come in here, it'll show you what session is going on. We'll show that here in a sec. Really not much else. You also have language selector, so you can come in here and Just oh, apparently English. only do English. Yeah. I'm sorry to our Spanish speaking friends in Dallas. Yes. Um, anyway, so let's go back. Let's do the app now. Let me start a screen recording. Wait for it to start, there we go. I'm gonna open up the Walmart app. And you can see this is the best, this is how it's supposed to work. It knows my location, it automatically pops up store mode and you'll see at the very top, EV charging at Walmart. I've seen sometimes where that doesn't pop up automatically and then you have to do it based, only way I can tell, someone to tell me in the comments if I'm wrong, is you can come up here to a search and you search for EV charging and it pops up. Gotcha. So I'm gonna click that. You can see it's gonna load, it kinda looks like a different app almost. Scan the QR code on the charger screen, okay. So I guess I hit instructions, scan. It wants me to know, am I using CCS or NACs? You're gonna use CCS. That's my card info, because I already had a Walmart account. Payment off the race and payment progress. It did not tell me if I needed to already have the car plugged in or not. Mm -hmm. We're about to find out. Payment authorization, here we go. Payment declined, uh-oh. Uh, okay, one moment, cut that real quick. All right, we are back, and Sebastian did not have an updated credit card. Yep, I had to put my new card in. And which, which is again, why? It should just have a credit card reader so yep. I can just pay for it. Yep. Anyway, got it updated. Let's try again, start charging. I'm using CCS, start charging. Payment off in progress. Trying it all over again. Surprising it takes this long to authorize. I know. 
It's like it has a plug in the connector, it, it says on the screen, and just came up on the app. Let me plug it in. This uh, bollard is inconvenient in my way, but I guess you can shove that real quick. Yep. By the way, if you are a Walmart Plus member, it looks like that you get 10% off EV charging. So, so let me get the Alpitronic cable management to come out. Ooh, there we go. Look at that. That bollard is inconvenient. Are we right, in? We're latched in. We'll come back over here. Charging started. You got the typical Alpitronic interface here. And your switch is going inside. Now, some stations have the Alpitronics. What else are they also using? So they also seem to be deploying a lot of ABB A400 units. Okay. Um, I think those are currently kind of localized to like Phoenix and Florida. Okay. Um, but I think I saw something considering permits. They're about 50-50 split. Gotcha. Um, car just spoke to me, said charging started. The car is turned on currently because the AC's on, someone's in there, so we might not see awesome power here, but you can see I'm at 29%. Connector 11, there's our energy delivery charge time. I love on these Alpies, you can hit charge detail and oh, it'll actually show you the curve. your curve, which I think is pretty sweet, yes. as well as volts and amps and all that jazz. You go back, and after you walk away for a while, it'll be on this screen again, so if you wanted to see that again, you would hit Active sessions, select CCS. You hit to a nine kilowatt. You're 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 peaking. There you okay, go. Okay, cool. I didn't know if it would do it with the car on. Gotcha. Um, and I keep accidentally locking my phone and not starting my screen recording. So let me just show this real quick. Um, you can see in the app here, it shows me my battery level, shows me energy delivery, charging time, subtotal, how much it's costing me. Ask me if I want to stop charging. Gives me another ad here, telling me I could save ten percent by having Walmart Plus, mm -hmm. um, which I don't have. And also, like you can see, it has a little live activity as well. So you can pretty easily come in here and stop charging that way and see your percentage. So if you're in the store and you need to stop charging, you tap that and yep. stop charging. And you don't have to unlock your phone to see that. I think okay. that's pretty cool. Yep. Um, but yeah, I mean, I expect we get a decent session unless the car gets hot. So it is 85 degrees outside, but 226 ramped right up, no problems. And my only, I've seen people complain about, I don't know that it's really any different than other networks, is it seems like it would be really easy for someone to come in here since you have to come through and then select your connector. If someone selects the wrong connector, it ends up stopping your session when they think they're stopping yours. Oh, okay. Um, again, I don't know if that's actually a big deal, but I've seen people have some concern about it. Um, but yeah, overall, other than not having a payment terminal, I still think that's a miss. Using the app is semi-easy, but you have to make sure payment methods are in there. If you have different cards you want to use, et cetera, it's a bit more of a hassle versus just tap. And the nice thing, these are solid units too. Yeah, these are solid units, so I don't have expect any issues with the units. But yeah, I mean, super easy process uh, once you get it going. Nice to design, nice interface, easy to use, et cetera. All right, so we're gonna go inside, actually go shop for a minute. Uh, we need to come back and show them our final stats if you want to? Sure, we can. All right, cool, so we'll see you in a bit. All right. All right, we are back after our quick trip into Walmart to grab some things for our, our little stay here in Dallas. All right, Sebastian, so what do we have for kind of final stats on this charge session? Yeah, so we've not been here very long. I do have a gripe with the app, I'll tell you in a second. We'll come up here, I do like seeing um, active sessions. We'll hit CCS. See, we put in so far 46 kilowatt hours in 16 minutes. We're at 88% pulling 70 kilowatts. And there is a curve. It's got a weird dip right there. I mean, otherwise yep. it just kind of stair step. I guess since we started at 30% or 29%, it skipped the Korean siesta. Yep. Which is cool. We're pulling 86 amps now at 792 volts. And my gripe with the app, I'll go ahead and show you real quick. I wish this screen, you know, it tells you how much is delivered, how long you've been charging for, and how much it costs. It just also tells you your charge speed. Ah, uh, okay. Because, you know, sometimes like this, these cars, you know, if they get hot or whatever, they'll severely throttle your speed. And if you're inside Walmart, you might not know that. Mm -hmm. You might not know that your car is charging so slow or why it's charging slow or anything like that. So I do kind of wish there was an additional piece of info on this screen, but that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and hit stop charging. Are you sure? Yes. Stopping. We'll come over here, unplug, and that's that. All right. So if you ever had a Walmart, and you see these new units, these are Walmart owned EV chargers. Most of them are the Alpatronic units, but you will see some ABB units. So thank you for joining us today. Don't forget to subscribe to this video, click that notification icon, and we'll see you again on another EV Geek Studio video, review, whatever you want to call it. Goodbye, everyone. Bye.